Alrighty guys, Jazz on Tracker here. Apparently that won't allow me to do edits, so whatever, but welcome back to another episode of LSPD FNDAR. Uh, it's been a while since we did a Meriwether Security Patrol, so that is what we are going to be doing today. Jumping back in with Samantha Martinez. Don't know why the leaning decided to cancel, but uh, yeah, it's been a while since we did a Meriwether Patrol. Uh, I guess it really just doesn't want to let me lean. Weird. Um, yeah, been a while since we did Mary Weather Patrol, and even though I'm not in DOJRP anymore, uh, at least for the foreseeable future, I'm still gonna tr I'm still gonna take kind of, I guess, a page out of their book, and still pretend that you know Mary Weather Security and single player in LSPD far, you know, got that uh, U.S. Department of Defense contract, which is why we are starting here at the. Uh, now, what do you call it? The military base. So, yeah, I mean, we're going to be starting here. Probably might stick to just the Sankudo area. So, just kind of like down here, these businesses here along 68, maybe down to Harmony and back around like that. But, I mean, I treat Meriwether as kind of like the roaming security, uh, security company. While when I do like G6 patrols or lock and load or anything like that. That's more corporate size, so they probably stick to a single property like the, uh, what do you call it, the um, the golf course patrol I did a few episodes ago. That would probably be something that, you know, the corporate security people would stick to, but Meriwether Security being the contracted by the Department of Defense, I think that they'd be able to, uh, they'd probably just be a little bit more roaming. It's not like they'll be able to or anything like that, that's just how... I'm differentiating the two because that's kind of how the two are differentiated in DOJ because normally DOJ doesn't like having quota doesn't have like having more than one single company that does the same thing I guess they don't really like competition companies quote unquote so there's like no like there's only one tow company there's only one you know, grocery store company being 24-7, so on and so forth, so I guess in order to have both Meriwether and G6 in the community, they kind of need a very kind of fine line, the defining factor that keeps the two separated, and it just so happens that Meriwether Security has access to Fort Zincudo. That's how different issue you. You can't even say that they have both the prison and the fucking military base anymore because the, like, the whole the uh, corrections office fucking became a department right before I got, you know, yeeted and all that stuff. But that's not what we're here to focus on. We're here to do a uh, patrol out here. Mary Weather Security starting at the military base. Like I said, might try to stick to the, to the Zancudo area, but we'll go where the calls take us to as long as they're appropriate for a security guard to respond to. So without, seriously, without further delay, we will, okay. We'll go ahead and get ourselves started here. Brandishing uh, weapon call. I mean, would security respond to that? Would security respond to that? I don't know. But... I mean... Oh, we have a bolo coming out. We have a traffic alert. Target last seen driving a dark green to target place. I guess considering the fact that uh, Mary Weather Security would have access to the police scanners and stuff. Also, we have our own dispatch and all that stuff. Like, I mean, we have our own CAD to report like incidents and calls and stuff. So maybe we could be uh, dispatched out to this brandishing weapon call. Oh, I hear something blip. Oh god, what was that? Oh god, okay. Note to self, don't back up as much in the, this vehicle apparently because it has goddamn suns for backup lights. Got it. Okay, hang on. Yeah, don't back up as much, he says, going to back up. Oh my god, that, like, blinds me. Ugh. 
Alright, I mean, I guess we'll go ahead and see what's up. I guess we'll go ahead. How's it going, ma'am? Sergeant Martinez, Mary with security. What's going on today? Caller, just someone brandishing the weapon across the street. And if you see it, I guess five minutes ago, find it stay inside the house already. Report for the last known coordinates. I wish I could get the fucking version that DOJ has with just the green lights on it because I think the green lights look a lot better than the amber lights on those vehicles. Okay, what the hell is this dude? Hello? And it doesn't wouldn't hurt to get actual law enforcement out of here, but where? Oh, they're back that way, apparently. What are they, like, out on the road? Huh? It's the yellow area for a suspect with a firearm. You know what, before we go out being fucking hero guard out here, let's go ahead and get like a local patrol unit down here. Request law enforcement assistance for this. I don't know where they'd be though. Apparently they haven't moved. Oh god, now they're all the way out there. Okay, yeah, you can go ahead and dismiss those guys for now. Oh, how do they get all the way out here? I see a pig, but that's not necessarily... Whoa! Hey, how's it going? Oh, God. Oh, God! Ah! Come on, get your fucking taser out! No! Ah. No! Ah! Ah! No! Fuck's sake! No, how? God, you're lucky I don't shoot you, asshole. Lucky I don't fucking shoot you. Uh. Now it's gonna be pouring rain and I'm not gonna be able to hear myself fucking think now. Not sending a unit out for me? Hello? And, uh, nope, it 
it's a female fucking person, but oh well, I don't care. You can go ahead and pat her down or pat him down because you're the LEO heir. Fucking assaulted me with a goddamn flare. I don't think you need a fucking like I don't think can I do a weapon shield check on a flare? No I can't. I cannot do a weapon shield check on a flare. Cause I don't think you need a permit for a flare. I mean, he's going to get fucking... I am charging this guy with fucking assault with a deadly weapon, though, because he shot a player on me and set me on fire like three times. So he's definitely getting that, at the very least. I can't hear myself THINK! Okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just get him with assault with a deadly weapon and send him on his way. Say I handed it over to the officer or park ranger person. Yeah, we'll be code four off of that call. It took us a little while to find him, but we found him. So we'll be code four off of that and we'll be uh, at 10 8. Uh, uh, suspiciously parked car call. Alright. Gonna be a blue tailgater. Like I said, I mean, it looks to be in an area of a business, which for security, so, you know, security, private, pro that's something a security guard would respond to is what I'm saying, right? You know, local business calls into Meriwether, you know, or the security company that they have a contract with, that they have a suspiciously parked car that's been sitting out there for a while. And they want somebody to look at it instead of wasting or potentially wasting police assets and police resources on a call like that. We have a security guard go check the vehicle out, see if there's any, you know, potential criminal activity involving the vehicle. To which, if there is criminal activity involved in the vehicle, then we can get police resources out there to assist us. But if not, then, you know, just get it towed off at the, you know, property owner's request or something. Alright, okay? just something that doesn't waste too many police resources on it. Apparently the lights on this thing don't work. Weird. But anyway, we have eyes on the vehicle. Sir? Sir? Okay, you guys are doing that there. Wonderful. Alright, so we got some possible uh, prostitution going on. What the hell do you think you're doing out here? Uh, by the way, uh, Sergeant uh, Bertini's Meriwether Security, all that stuff. My girlfriend was starting this. Can't believe you two do it in a public area. Won't do this again. Almost a year conversation. Oh my god! Ah, what the fuck? Call this in, please. Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! God damn it! Sweet Sam, fuck, man. We've got on Sonora Freeway.
Bro got fucking shot the hell though. Hey. hey. God damn it. Alrighty, well let's get EMS out here for this guy then. What happened over here? What happened? What happened over here? Hello? Okay, I guess she either got away or got arrested or something. God damn it, man. She pulled a taser on me, but thankfully it was just a taser, and technically I don't think the prongs would really be able to penetrate my vest anyway. But... That guy pulled an actual gun. She pulled a taser for some fucking reason, but he got shot to shit for it. He got sh Considering that I can't have local officers to search the vehicle or else I would, that's just a limitation to stop the ped. So we'll just say that we're searching it on their behalf, but we ain't found anything in there, so we're going to go ahead and get a uh, tow truck out here for this thing, because it's now part of a criminal investigation. I don't know if she got away or what, but if she got away, they just have a warrant out for her arrest or something like that because she assaulted me with a taser multiple times. CPR has failed on the boyfriend, it looks like. I mean, nothing of value was lost, I suppose. Nothing of it. I am going to pull him out of the dirt a little bit. You got that right. In a try. Go ahead, drag the body a little bit just to the corners, have an easier time to uh, grab it. And so one of them isn't like, you know, stuck through the fence. Possibly glitching out. Alrighty, well, we'll get a corner unit out here for this thing. Or this thing. Get a corner unit out here for this guy. Decided to shoot at us and shit. And these two can probably clear on out of here. Thank you for responding, though. Thank you for responding. And then we'll be code 4 and back to any once the fucking body gets picked up. Dispatch, we got eyes on the target. Uh, I'm just a security guard, but sure, if Meriwether Dispatch is gonna put me on this, fuck it, I guess. Uh, uh, sure, I, I, not something I'd be responding to as a security guard, but I, I, I guess, why not? I mean, at least I'm not using the security pack Merryweather vehicles that don't even have lights and sirens on them, but don't think I'd be responding to this as a security guard, but I mean, sure, somebody else spotted the Bolo vehicles, so Followed suspect, so I guess why not? <laughs> I don't know, this is I'm not it's not like I'm actually playing DOJ here, so if I fucking want to respond to this I can. And I will. <laughs> Alright, well I got eyes on him. So a park ranger found him. Oh, he's going for a pit. He's going for a pit. Pit unsuccessful. I mean, bro, you're the law enforcement guy. Take primary. You're the law enforcement guy. We might have to let either Los Santos County or Los Santos City know that, uh, we got a pursuit coming their way. Oh, boy. Another unsuccessful pit. Another. Oh, he's turning off into the dirt. Oh, he just ran over a fucking guard. Nah, nah, nah. You run over a guard, that's it. You're done. Oh shit. Vehicle is on fire.
Yeah, the vehicle's kind of on fire. Hi, how are you? Oh, you little bastard. I mean, technically, he's on contracted property now. And he ran over another security guard, so... You know what? Just in case, I'm gonna call back, because... I'm in a fucking SCX. I can't off-road too much here. Yeet. Yeah, I can't exactly go announcing that there, but, but uh, Samantha, I almost called you Jessica. You can't exactly go announcing that. Oh shit, he actually has a gun in his hand. Um, I just saw that now. bro has got a goddamn gun in his hand. I cannot off-road that much, though, unfortunately. I can do those sneak around this way. Hmm. Didn't react to uh, that, unfortunately. God damn it, he turned around. Turned around on that fucking ranger, somehow did not get him. Oh, shots fired. Bro, you almost got shot, bro. Idiot! All right. Whoopsies. I don't know why you're giving the arrest to me. I didn't call you out here. I didn't. Alrighty, well, at the very least, we can see what the hell's going on with this pistol. Attention all units, we've got a civilian in need of assistance. You so much for only sticking to the Sankudo area, mostly, huh? And it's a stolen weapon. Oh boy, he's just racking up charges today, isn't he? Alright, well you can go ahead and pat him down since you're the law enforcement guy. Since you're the law. He has a weapon permit, but it's a stolen weapon, so it's still an illegal weapon anyway. So he is going to be getting, he has a clean record. It's going to be a, fail, a felony evading an officer, because remember, he did run. Uh, and this, he was running in a vehicle initially, initially because he was the uh, fucking sus being a bolo suspect. He's going to get stolen firearm possession, and he's also going to get fucking... 
uh, felony hit and run causing injury because he fucking ran over that other fucking like local G6 guy. So yeah, he's gonna be hit with those slew of charges there, so he can go ahead and be transported. He's probably gonna get another vehicle down here because I have no idea where the fuck this guy left his fucking patrol vehicle at. He's going to go ahead and get transported out of here, and then we'll probably be 10-7 Mike to the station to clock it off for the day. That was a pretty that was a pretty successful security patrol. I liked it. Especially that uh, vehicle, uh, suspicious vehicle call. Because I don't know if you guys could fucking hear me over the... Uh, I don't know if you guys could hear me over the fucking rainstorm when I was talking about that. The uh, security officer would be a perfect person to respond to something like that. Suspicious person, suspicious vehicle, or suspicious person, suspicious person call or something like that. Because instead of wasting police resources on something that could possibly be handled by a licensed, certified, contracted security person, might be better off than, as I said, wasting police resources on that. Obviously, we ended up getting police resources after, uh, police resources anyway, because there was, like, some weird prostitution, public, lewd conduct and public stuff going on, but that's only after I realized that there was something criminal going on. If it was just nothing criminal going on, then I could just, you know, issue a trespass warning on behalf of the business owner because it was a kind of collection of business properties private either i don't know if those businesses are quote unquote open by the uh you know the game standpoint but it, it's either way it's like privately owned property so the property owner could just have them trespass and you could issue that trespassing notice on behalf of them because as i said we are a certified security person which we'd be able to do that as security so well that's of that we are going to probably head back just to sandy shores uh pd and clock off for the day really like that patrol and this patrol was nice okay so i lied we're actually ending our patrol here at the prison and i'm just wondering what the hell this bf injection is doing Driving, it's a little suspicious of him to be driving around the prison like that, like this. Just in case. Also, his vehicle appears to be heavily damaged. Just in case. Okay, and he's running. And he's running from us. Alrighty. And he's running from us. Wonderful. What the hell, man? I just wanted to end my patrol for the day. Well, fuck you being an idiot. And I only pulled him over as a security guard because we're Merryweather security and this is literally the fucking, you know state penitentiary i think we'd have reasonable grounds to pull somebody over with our lights and sirens on prison grounds because it's literally the outside prison access road i think we'd 100 percent have jurisdiction to do that oh my god fucking state prison authorities in on this okay just making sure he doesn't where are you going Where are you going? Damn it, man. Why the fuck you went off and do that?
Okay, they got the fucking passenger out again. Alrighty, well, the, you're not smart, are you? Or you're not... Why the fuck are you running me an idiot? Oh, probably because he's potentially intoxicated. Man, all I wanted to do was end my patrol for the day, and then you went off and had to do that, man. Oh, yo yo Of course, everybody's still chasing after the passenger. I don't even know where the fuck. Oh, God. All the fucking guards hanging around outside are all, like, fucking... All got their fucking rifles and shit out. How the hell are they still chasing this guy? How far is he gonna run? All I wanted to know was why the hell you were driving around the fucking prison, man. That's all I was gonna ask. And if you had no business here, I was just gonna ask you to leave. But no, you decided to go off and pull something like that. You just... I'm gonna get a fucking another person here to, uh... Trying to get you out of here, or get out of here, get out of here to fucking... I should have called a flatbed, but oh well, look at the fuck. Uh, you just say no fucking on the PA system. Please don't try to drive into the goddamn prison. What does it take to get you moving? What the? Okay, you're good there, boss. God damn it, you're good there, boss. Hi, how's it going? What? No, don't get into the vehicle. This is turning into a. Why? Why? Just get out, please. I don't want you in my fucking car. I don't want you. Okay, please pat him down. I want smartphone and a flashlight. Alrighty. And they got the other guy too. Good. Alrighty, so this guy. No, that's the passenger. This guy is going to be getting. I'm uh, gonna be in evading. Would it be evading a peace officer since he ran from a security person? I mean, technically, I'm RPing that we have quote unquote law enforcement powers on the prison ground, so screw it. Yeah, that, that, that's what he. It was literally just going to be like a get the fuck out of here warning. Like, I wasn't even gonna fucking cite him for anything. I was just pulling him over, seeing if he had any business here at the prison, and then he decided to run. So, you know what? Fuck you. And now we gotta go up here onto the fucking freeway and deal with this idiot. And if he does it, as long as he doesn't have like a warrant out for his arrest or something, I didn't really check his name. I know we had him up on the fucking screen there, but we didn't check, I didn't really check check him, so. I mean, as long as he doesn't have anything to do with it, he's just a passenger. I mean, yeah, he got out on a traffic stop, but there's nothing necessarily illegal about that. Oh, yo, yo, I need to do another fucking state prison authority patrol. There's not really much to do on a prison authority patrol, you know? Okay, what the McFuck is going on over here? He disappeared as... Did he disappear as soon as I got, got here? Yep, that's wonderful. Alrighty, well, y'all can fucking clear on out of here. That was a giant waste of my time. I guess we'll head back to the prison to clog off again, for fuck's sake. Alrighty, we are shown back up. I don't know why the hell those people are running in the distance, but I honestly cannot give a sliver of a fuck less, because I want to fucking clog off for the day. We do have some court cases, though. We have assault with a weapon for the guy that shot the flare at us. Three grand, three years in prison on that. Uh, John Tripoli? Tripoli? I have no idea. 
Uh, stole a firearm possession, hit and run, causing injury, evading a peace officer. 22.5 grand and 17 years in prison. License suspended for six months. Yikes, that fucking evading a peace officer thing really screws him over. Anyway, evading a peace officer here, five grand, three months in prison. I don't even know what the hell the passenger did or how or if the passenger was involved because by the time we got there, he glitched out on us and poofed out of existence. So I'm not going to fucking deal with that. We are just going to clock off for our shift today. And yeah, that was still a fun shift, though. Still a fun patrol. That really wasn't expecting it to go along, go on for this much longer, but that's what I get for trying to uh, stop somebody acting kind of odd around the prison. But regardless, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.